When students enter the library, their first stop is to come to the check-in computer, which is right here. They will have their books with them, and they simply scan the book underneath the scanner, and they will see the book come up on the screen to make sure that it's checked in correctly. Once they check in, they're going to put their books down here on the cart, and these are the books that you, as the shelver, will come to get to take back to the shelves. These books are not in any kind of order, um, so some people like to kind of group the books together before they take them to the shelf. You'll notice that every book has a label on it with a picture and a word, like these say animal, humor, once upon a time. That sticker this sticker right here is your first indicator for where a book should go. If it has the sticker and then an E, then that book is most likely going to go to the picture book section. So you'll see a big sign that says picture hanging from the ceiling. Um, so those books will go to that section. If a book has an F on it, like this one does, this one says mystery and an F. F usually stands for chapter book, so any books with a category and then an F will go underneath the sign that says chapter. And if a book has a number on it, that is a good indicator that it goes to the informational section, for the most part. There are a few exceptions that we'll look at along the way, but for the most part, that's kind of where you're going to take the book. So probably group them by category, walk over to that section, and then start putting the books into their shelves. So let's take a walk and see where things are. We're going to start off with this section because it is one of the exceptions. This is the graphic novel section. These books will have a red graphic novel sticker on them, and most of them will say 741.5. So these books... Um, do not go in any particular order on the shelf because it's a shelf that is our highest traffic area in the library and you can't really keep it in any kind of order. It is helpful to put the same series together if possible, um, but other than that, this shelf does not have an order to it. Walking this way, you will see the picture book section. And once you get over here, you'll notice that there are signs on top of the shelf that match those stickers. And they have a color that matches as well. So this humor section is orange. So every book in this section should have the orange humor sticker. If it has a red humor sticker, that means it's over in the chapter book section. So make sure you're not putting a book into the wrong section, keeping our picture books together and our chapter books together. Um, in the center of this section over here is our favorite author and character section. This is another section that is a little bit different than the rest of the shelves. The favorite authors go on this side. So um, Dr. Seuss, Mo Willems, Eric Carl, authors like that. And then over on this side are the favorite characters. So grouping the books together by the character, kind of starting with the letter A and going to Z. So you'll see things like Pete the Cat and Splat the Cat and Fancy Nancy and Llama Llama, um, characters that kids tend to look for. Moving on around, we have Once Upon a Time and the princess section, which is in these buckets. Again, this is a section that does not have any order to it. The princess, you just put them in the bucket. Um, everything else, though, does have an order. So we um, try to have uh, the books in order by the author's last name. So that's where those three letters on the spine of the book come in. So after you get it to its sticker section, and it says E, then you're going to look at those three letters, and it just goes in alphabetical order. Beside the princess section is the folk and fairy tale section, language, and poetry. And this is one of those sections that 
um, is going to be an exception as well because most of these books will have a number on them. And I know I said most numbers go over in the informational section, but these are not informational books. They are stories. So you've got your folk and fairy tales, which most of them will say 398.2. And then you have your poetry down this way, which will say 811. All right, so just continuing quickly on around, we have an animal section in the picture books, and these, again, are animal picture books, so they should have an E as their call number. The school section, transportation and sports is kind of a small section here. Historical fiction, realistic fiction, and then we're back to humor. So from the picture book section, we'll move over to the informational section of the library. And just to look at some of the sections that are over here, you have Georgia, around the world, transportation, and math. And all of these books are in order by the number that's on the spine. So again, you go to the section with the correct sticker, and then you put them in order by the number and if a book has the same number as another book, then you use those three letters of the author's last name to get it in alphabetical order beyond the number. Then we have religion, biographies. Biographies are in order by the last name of who they are about. At the very end of the biography section, there's a little section of numbers. So get all of the B's in order first and then the num ones with numbers go at the very end. War and military, history, Native Americans, and careers is down there on the bottom. Then swinging over, we have dinosaurs, and then a big long section of animals, science, nature, space, mindset, all about me, and music. So that's kind of four sections that are all squeezed together there. Cooking and food, maker space, sports. The sports section is one that is very hard to keep in order. So do the best you can at getting it in order. Um, but if you're running low on time, don't worry about getting them specifically in numerical order. Fun facts is usually a pretty empty shelf, and ghost and mysteries also is usually a very empty shelf. Um, one thing to point out, this ghost and mystery section has the purple ghost label. There are two other sections in the library that have a ghost on them, but this one is the only one that says ghost and mysteries. Moving back across the library to our chapter books. Again, these books will have an F after the sticker, there's the realistic fiction section, humor, mystery, sports, scary, and our scary section gets kind of full so we also have this little table to just display a few um, scary books on if it's too full. Then we have our adventure section. Fantasy. Fantasy is a pretty big section. At the very end of fantasy is the science fiction section. Turning around historical fiction. On the other side of the big tall shelf where the graphic novels are, you'll find a little tiny section that's called jokes. That one's sometimes hard to find. There's a scary picture book section. And then finally are the celebration and seasons books. So these are books about Halloween, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, any kind of holiday like that. And we try to keep them grouped by the holidays um, if you have time. That would be a great thing to do.